Hello, so to welcome back to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Testing. In this video, we are going to see API testing. This is table of content. What is API testing? Why we do API testing? And tools we are going to learn that is SOAP UI and Postman. So let's get started. What is API testing? API testing is a type of software testing that analyzes an application program interface to verify it fulfills its expected functionality, security and performance and reliability. The tests are performed either directly on the API or on the, as a part of integration testing. So let's un understand more by the example. See, you know the book my issue. You know, make my trip red bus. So, what's happened in Book My Show? Book My Show, this is app where we go and book the movie tickets. Okay, if you want to book some XYZ show in some city called Nasik, you will go to the app, search for the Nasik, and then search the show and then theater. And let's take the PBR. This is one way. Another way you can go to PVR's website, search the Nasik city and search the show that you want to see. By both the ways you can book the tickets and even when data will be the sync and shared equally. So what do you think? Uh, PVR share all the data with book my show or give all the access to off database? No, because of security reasons. And maybe this could happen that both apps are developed in different languages. So sharing of data might not be a good idea. So here's in this case, the it shares API of some functions with book my show and give the limited or no access to the database. Here's the working of API. What we exactly check in API testing? We check data security, response time, duplicate or missing functionality, authorization checks, multi-threaded issues, security and performance issues, error codes of API returns and reliability issues. We are going to see few of these things in this video. Let's see the benefits of API testing. Finding bugs in an, at an early stage of SDL. This is great advantage that allows tester to find the defects in the application at an early stage. This developer can fix bugs before it affects the GUI. Plus, we mentioned, as we mentioned above, this approach saves a lot of time and money for the company that order quality assurance services. Second benefit is effective use of time. Because in UI driven tests, most of the time is spent on loading and rendering web pages and UI elements that might not be even needed in the end. So that we don't do in API testing, so that save a lot of time. Reduce testing cost. So, API testing provides faster results with the early de defect diagnosis, so which reduce overall testing cost. Both one is non-attachment to the programming language. As we said above, an API test exchanges data by using special XML or JSON formats. This is the way of transferring information and is completely independent of any application language. This means that when automating API testing, engineers can freely use any programming language that supports these techniques, JavaScript, Java, Ruby, Python, PHP, etc. And next one is improved test coverage. API level tests are specifically designed to check if all system components works as expected. API testing helps to identify potential defects in interfaces, servers, and database. This in turn improves the overall quality of the software and its interaction with the users. So because of all these benefits, nowadays companies are choosing to do API testing. So here are the tools which we can learn here in this video. First one is SOAP UI and second one is Postman. Both can be used to handle SOAP and REST requests. There are two types of services, SOAP services and REST services. SOAP service means simple object access protocol. Its format is envelope, header and body. REST request. REST request means representational state transfer protocol. It's its format is base URL, resource, and query parameters. We'll see SOAP services and REST services in SOAP UI tool and Postman tool. 
but in this vid video we are going to see only soap ui tool because video is getting very lengthy so let's get started with soap ui tool your desktop you can download soap ui software from google for your windows linux or your mac so you have to just install like other softwares and this is this will be your first window so from here you can create soap services apis requests then from here you can create rest projects so from here we are going to create new soap project so project name will give calculator and then we have some visual url that we are going to paste here let's see provide it a visual url visual url means that ends with wstl web services descriptive language so that we are going to provide and we are going to say ok so that is creating our soap ui project see see it got created here Here we are going to see two requests. So if you go here, this is updated one. This is updated one request. This is add request. So we are checking it manually. Click here. And uh, if you go, if you give some parameters. 13, 13. Give it. Click on run. You'll get answer here. So, like this, you can add, divide, multiple, multiply, subtract. This we are checking these requested request manually. Now we'll uh, create test suit, create test say, steps, and let's see all these requests one by one. We'll create test suit for this calculator. So right click to new test suit. We'll keep it as this to the test suit only. So then let's create test case inside it. New test case. Let's give addition. Okay. So this is new test case is created in the test suit for the addition. Now you go and you add steps. So if you have soap project, you add soap request here. If you have rest project, you have rest request. You can add so your soap request. We'll give addition only. So here we have list of all the requests which we have in calculator. So this one calculator one to add. So we are taking at so clear of an optional content. 
सो सी दिस इज योर टेस्ट केस सो यू कैन राइट योर टेन लेट्स रन दिस so currently our result is 22 so let's see we'll give some assertions property contents Suppose your property not contains null. Your answer is twenty-two. So obviously it is valid. Let's add one more assertion. Contents. We we'll give fifty. Fifty-six. So but your answer is twenty-two. So it is valid. So like this. But if you can write contains okay, you can give multiple types of positive or negative data here. So see if your answer is twenty two, your test case is pass. Like this, you can add assertions in all the SOAP request. We have so many assertions. You can go here. Assertions and you can check these all are assertions. SLA scripts. SLA means your response time. You can define time limit here, and you can add if you are. request is processing within that time it is pass otherwise it is fail these are all are different types of assertions you can add and validate your test case so you can do all the steps all the you can validate all the request like add subtract divide multiply like this so this is it soap ui soap request so guys video is getting lengthy so we'll talk about rest request in our next video so far if you get soap request if you have any doubts you let us know in comment section please do like share and subscribe to our channel and uh, see you in next video bye bye